Hi, Anna. <clears throat> Helen Natchintu here, health coach and mentor based in Derbyshire. And um, first of all, I want to say thank you so much for giving us this platform where we can actually express ourselves and hopefully we are being heard. And thank you so much for being such a beautiful, benevolent, generous light worker that you are. We actually need more people like you in the media. We need more reporters like you reporting the truth and um, giving people a platform on which to speak. So um, <clears throat> I really want to talk about face masks and the dangers of wearing face masks on a long-term basis. I'm not here to chastise anybody who is wearing face masks. Whether you wear face masks or not, that's um, irrelevant to me because at the end of the day, it's a personal choice. But I just felt that I needed to share with you guys the dangers of wearing face masks on a long-term basis, especially with particular reference to what they are, well, what the government are now telling you is going to be the second wave of COVID-19. Um, it's funny that they should know there's going to be a second wave, right? Um, so, <sighs> face masks. Okay, if you are wearing a face mask at home, in your own home, um, in your car, whether you're by yourself or not, whether you are wearing a face mask at work, if you are wearing it for prolonged periods of time, then you are essentially putting yourself in danger. I'm not here to talk about whether face masks are effective or not. That's, that's just not what I'm here to talk about. I'm here to talk about the fact that um, you are weakening your immune system by wearing face masks on a long-term basis. So with that in mind and with what the government are now preparing you all for in terms of the second wave of COVID, I say you because I don't wear face masks. I will never wear a face mask, not for this so-called COVID-19, um, but I'm not condemning anybody else that's wearing them. Uh, I just want to get that straight. So this whole second wave of COVID-19 is actually a, um, it's actually the government's way of weakening your immune system. Let's face it, Big Pharma has never made any money out of us being healthy, right? Um, and this situation, this little situation right here is no different. What they're calling the second wave of COVID-19 is the fact that when you wear a mask for prolonged periods of time, you weaken your immune system. Now, let's think about the fact that autumn, winter season, many people catch colds and flus and they're able to overcome those colds and flus with minimal challenges, yeah? This time round, autumn, winter, cold and flu season, a lot of people are going to really, really struggle to bounce back from that because you would have already weakened your immune system just through wearing face masks on a regular and consistent basis and prolonged um, periods of time. So really, um, I'm not asking you to break rules, regulations or, or whatever, because I understand that some of you have to wear them for work, otherwise you lose your job. Um, other people, basically, most people are wearing face masks out of fear, let's face it. It's either the fear of losing a friendship, relationship, job, benefits and so on. And I'm not condemning you, but I'm just saying, please be mindful that you are weakening your immune system. Do some research around this. Find um, herbs, supplements, foods that are supportive of your immune system so that you do not um, suffer 
too greatly, shall we say, during the cold and flu seasons. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video and thank you once again, Anna.